This model already has a really great figure, but in beauty retouching, a lot of things are enhanced, such as the lips, the waist, the arms, and the bust. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about using the Liquify tool. Before we begin, let's create a duplicate of the background later by clicking Command or Control J. And we'll call this one New After. And then we'll access the Liquify panel by choosing Filter, Liquify. There are a set of tools up at the top of the left side of the panel. The first one is a forward warp tool. Then we have reconstruct, pucker, bloat, push to the left, and then there's a hand in the zoom. And we'll go through all of these really quickly. With the first one, all you have to do is click and drag and you can mush things. A little goes a long way and you have control over the brush size and the brush pressure, but if you didn't want to go as far as that, you can click the Restore All button, or you can go back to this Reconstruct tool, and as you click and drag, you would be mushing the pixels back into position. Let's just do a Restore All. Then there's the Pucker tool, which will allow you to pinch things in, and the Bloat tool, which will allow you to bloat things out. Of course, that's frightening. <laughs> We're going to Restore All. And then this one, push left, it does exactly what it says. It pushes things to the left. And then, of course, you can zoom and move around with the hand. Now, notice this is like a really simplified version of this dialog box. And if you're new, you might prefer working in this mode. Now, if you're comfortable with Liquify, but you're looking for more control over these tools, you might want to click on the advanced mode, which gives you access to a lot more options. Let's start by selecting the Pucker tool. And then we can modify the tool options off to the side. The brush size should be somewhere around 250. Of course, though, given your image, you might need a larger or a smaller brush. Actually, let's go smaller. Let's go 150. The brush density can stay at 50. Brush pressure can stay at 100. Now, if you're using a stylus with a tablet, you can deal with the brush pressure, but since it's grayed out, you're not going to have any difference between clicking your mouse. You would definitely need a tablet with a pen tool in order to have the pressure sensitive effect going. The brush rate can be anywhere between 0 and 100, so let's just bring it down to like 40. And then once you have all the settings the way you want them, you'll place your crosshair of the brush just a little bit on the inside edge of the area you want to bring in and then make a series of clicks along that edge to pull inward. So here's how it would work. If I wanted to make her waist a little bit smaller, I would just click right there, right on the waist. I might even go smaller on the brush size here. But I'm ever so slightly pinching that waist inward. The smaller the brush and the more clicks that you make, the easier it is to control the area that you're slimming without affecting any of the other pixels. Now I might also want to slim this side of her arm that's a little bit curvy just to bring it in and make it a little bit straighter. And you could go anywhere, like I might want to slim the thigh right here. And it's just shifting the pixels ever so slightly. Continue working. For instance, you might want to bring that arm in, that arm in a little bit. Maybe bring in the hip bring in the thigh. And when you're done, you can move on to the next thing. And for us, we're going to choose the bloat tool. As I mentioned before, the bloat tool will sort of plump in any area that you happen to click on. And so we can give her a larger bust just by clicking here once or twice. Don't want to go overboard. And when you have everything the way you like it, you can click OK. Other options in the dialog box 